Hello everyone, my name is Nicholas Miller and today I'm going to shoot a real quick video about comma splices. If you don't know what a comma splice is, it's when two complete sentences have been combined using a comma without the proper um, fanboy or coordinating conjunction. So basically it's when a student thinks that a comma serves the purpose of a period. Um, it's important for students to know what a comma splice is and to be able to name one because it pops up as wrong answer choices a lot on STAR. If you look at question 7 from the 2019 test, you'll see that the last two answer choices are technically comma splices. So I put, I think it was answer choice D on the board so that we can take a look at it. So this is the passage about Legos. Um, I can't remember if it was asking what's the best way to combine these two sentences or what's the best, what's the best revised version of this sentence, but it says visitors were able to build a Lego brick model comma, then visitors could add the Lego brick model to any state on the map. Now if I'm a student who understands compound sentences and subject and predicate, then when I look at this I say there is a comma without a fanboy. So it can't be compound. Well if it's a comma without a fanboy it might be a complex sentence. So then we have to look at the beginning of the sentence. And I don't see anything at the beginning of the sentence like while or after or although. I don't see any word here that lets me know there should be a comma without a fanboy. So it's a comma splice. So the order that students should be learning sentence structure in is subject predicate and sentence fragment. They should learn run on sentence. They should learn about compound sentences first and then they should learn about comma splice. It's always important to teach the kids the right way first, as much as you possibly can, and then the way that students might make mistakes when they're building sentences. So there are three ways that you can fix a comma splice. The first is to turn the comma into a period. So let's look at our sentence and pretend that that comma is a period. Visitors were able to build a Lego brick model, period. Then visitors could add the Lego brick model to any state on the map. That works and then becomes a transitional phrase, which is the next thing that we would talk about when it comes to building sentences. The second would be to add a, a, a coordinating conjunction or a fanboy. So visitors were able to build a Lego brick model, comma, and then visitors could add the Lego brick model to any state on the map. So that's the second way. The third way is to make it a complex sentence. So it might say something like, after visitors were able to build a Lego brick model, then they could add their Lego brick model to any state on the map. So there's three types of sentence structure mistakes that kids need to be aware of. The first is sentence fragments, incomplete sentences because they're missing a subject or predicate. The second is run-on sentences where they're not putting their periods or their commas to separate complete ideas. And the last is what we've talked about today, which is a comma splice, where they're separating complete ideas using a comma without the appropriate punctuation. Um, tomorrow I will post a picture of the actual question with this, the comma splices highlighted in the incorrect, um, sorry, the incorrect answer choices highlighted in, in orange or a different color. The reason that my students have been successful on STAR test is because we treat the revising section with just as much energy as we treat the editing section as well as the essay. So getting students to pass STAR this year is not about teaching to the test or teaching them how to navigate the test. While testing strategies are good, you want to make sure that kids can handle all three parts of the test. And if they can name it, they can tame it. So this is the last video of those three sentence structure mistakes. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. You can message me directly and any resources that I might have for this topic are going to be found on Teachers Pay Teachers at that teacher from Texas. Thanks. Peace.